Washington. Thank you so much, Senator, for coming it's great, in. Great to be back, Esme. It's been a while. Well, it's, it's, it's all. <laughs> election was a long time ago. <laughs> I know. Uh, the election that never uh, ends. It never ends. Um, soon. It will end soon. Uh, well, let me ask you, um, what is it that you are seeking? Are you seeking, do you want this three-judge panel to go over each of these 11,000 votes to see if they should be included. We're seeking to make sure that every validly counted vote is, is a very valid cast vote is counted, and we're seeking to make sure that no, no, no ballots were counted twice, so it's pretty simple. There are about 11,000 uncounted absentee ballots. Not all of them are gonna get in. There's some that are just patently illegal. People, now, if you're not registered, uh, you're not gonna be able to vote. If you uh, haven't signed the ballot, uh, and there's no reason for that, probably not gonna count that ballot. But there are literally thousands, and I think that's clear. The one thing that came out of the hearing this week, uh, Joe Mansky, the uh, head of elections for Ramsey County, said very clear: there are votes, valid votes that have not been counted. Deputy Secretary of State, there are valid votes that have not been counted. Uh, this panel will have an opportunity to look at them individually uh, and ultimately make decisions about what should and should not be counted. All right, and those witnesses did say that. Mansky saying, especially, and I thought very dramatic testimony, saying they only had 15 seconds to evaluate yeah. each absence because there were so many. 75-year-old Gerald Anderson, whose wife directed him where to sign on the ballot, he didn't sign it in the space for the signature, but it was somewhere else in the ballot. And Mansky says, judges, to the judges, you have to say, we had 15 seconds to look at this. We couldn't right. look up and down. But now we have more than 15 seconds. And if somebody is a, is a a registered voter uh, and they've signed their ballot, that vote should be cast. And there will be a lot of votes that have not yet been counted. So this election is certainly not over, and I don't think anyone disagrees well, with that. Well, let's just say that, that I, hundreds, maybe thousands of additional ballots get brought back in. What makes you think that you're going to get enough to overcome this lead? I have no guarantee. Uh, okay. But the reality is you can't declare somebody a winner when there are literally thousands of ballots that are validly cast from registered voters that haven't been counted. Minnesotans of, of all political persuasion should have an interest in making sure that uh, validly cast votes are counted. My, I believe that will be successful because those that haven't been counted come from areas, Republican areas. Uh, there were a lot that were counted during the first phase. It came from Ramsey County, Hennepin County, St. Louis County. But I have no guarantee. Uh, but Minnesotans deserve to know that their senator, whoever their senator is elected, uh, based having more votes than the other guy, and that validly cast votes are counted. In addition to that, that there were no votes that are counted twice. And one of the issues here is this show duplicate ballots. Overseas ballots crumpled up. The election official makes a duplicate, feeds it into the machine. If they mark the original but didn't mark the duplicate, at the end of the process, they count the duplicate, count the original. You have more votes than voters. And we've seen that in over 25 precincts. This panel will clarify the issue of duplicate ballots. I'll clarify the issue of validly cast ballots. And then we'll know who the next United States Senator right. is. Um, a KSTP poll uh, indicated that, that your move to contest the, the canvassing board's results was not popular with a lot of voters. Are you concerned that as this drags out, people will hold this against you and that if you do lose, that would hurt your chances of running for another office? A lot of people say if Governor Tim Pawlenty doesn't run, that you would be the logical Republican to be the Republican Sanderbury for, for governor. I think in the end, Minnesotans want to get it right. And Esme, I got to tell you, I'm not looking to the next election. I, I've had 32 years of public service. I've been blessed to do it. I would like to continue doing it. If that doesn't happen, my life will go on. But in the end, this is about getting it right. We, we, go, we govern with the consent of the governor. You can't have that consent if people don't think that the election was fairly done. So let's count the valid votes. Let's get rid of the duplicate ballots, and we'll have a United States senator. I'll live with the outcome. Minnesotans deserve that, but I'm not worried about polls for the next election. Is this the final phase, though? I mean, if, if, if the court... Either way, or how far will you take this? Will you take this beyond the federal, this court? I hope, if, I, if I hope this is the final phase. I have to tell you, I've got a lot of confidence in this, in this panel. These but are, if you these lose, are, these will, you, will you contest well, it, it further? It depends what they do. If they count all the ballots and I lose, then I've lost. There's no need to go further. You know, if there's something that happens that somehow there's a violation of equal protection that's not dealt with, well, you'd, you'd think about that. But I have to tell you, I've got confidence in these judges and the integrity of the judges. I've got confidence in the process. Let's count the votes. If the votes are counted, I come out on top, I'll be certified, and I'll continue to serve in the Senate. If not, uh, my opponent will be certified, and he'll be the next senator. Uh, it's about getting the votes counted. It's not about continuing legal action. And one, one question.